So not all poker apps are created equal. And when it comes to real money poker apps, it's time for you to see the opportunity on Ignition Poker. Personally, I've been playing here for just over six years, and the software is top-notch for any phone, whether it's an iPhone, Samsung folding phone like the one you're seeing here, or something Android. Now, I'm going to load up a session I just played yesterday at the $500 tables where we absolutely killed it, going up close to $700 in 35 minutes, which is always nice. Of course, if you guys would like to learn more about Ignition, grab a bonus for them or get on our poker newsletter. We send out one email a week. We'll have some links directly below in the description. Also, feel free to you know ask me any questions about Ignition or any of the hands in this session if you want to comment on them. Or if you just have a poker question in general, you know, I always mention I do respond to you guys in the comments. It usually takes me a few days, but you know, I'm always here to help, you know, especially if you're struggling, maybe trying to move up in stakes, you're just not getting the results you want. You know, I, I definitely like to help you guys out. So uh, stick around to the end of this one, though, because like I said, we, uh, yeah, we had, we had some crazy, crazy hands in this one. I made a really good call on somebody and, um, yeah, I'm not going to pat myself on the back, but I probably should after, you know, you see this. So, I mean, pretty ridiculous. Now, I actually slow played just one hand in this. Um, I limped in with an ace-king, which I normally don't do. I just kind of, you know, did it for whatever reason. I was first to act. And it actually worked out pretty well. So, we hit top pair on this board. Now, I decided to put out a bet. I think it was like seven bucks, so nothing crazy, keeping it small. Now, the turn card did put a club out there, but the fact that we have the ace of clubs makes it a lot less likely that this guy has a flush. So something that I'm thinking about here when I put in a, another continuation bet. Now, he's going to make the call. So, you know, I'm thinking he's either got a king or a nine or maybe some kind of weird two pair. But there was also the flush draw. Anyways, we hit top two on this board. Feeling pretty good about it. So I went for more value here. I bet like 27 bucks. He made the call pretty quick. So he probably had a king, maybe two pair. I don't know. Uh, but we took it down. So, uh, you know, slow playing the ace king right there worked out. Like I said, I normally don't do that, but I was first to act, mixed it up, and yeah, I mean, the result was fine. All right, next hand, I think we folded. I don't like to play. If it, if this is like a king suited something low, I'll always play it, but yeah, I just folded it. Didn't want to get involved with it. And even though we are in the big blind with this hand too, sometimes it's just better to fold this kind of hand. It's tough. Now, if we had an ace three offsuit or something ace offsuit, I would make the call. But, you know, with the king, folding makes sense here. You know, I hate giving up my blinds, but it is what it is. Okay, so I hope you guys are ready for this because we are getting right into the action in this next hand. Now, I've got a queen four suited. Clearly not the strongest hand in the world, but it is suited. And we were put to the test in this hand. I mean, uh, we had an all-in situation with a queen four. Interesting board, interesting turn card, and just interesting spots in this one. But, you know, I wasn't falling for anything here. And, you know, I made the call. We hit top pair. Yeah, uh, this hand was crazy, absolutely crazy. Okay, so we're going to hit top pair. And we do have a club out there. So runner, runner clubs is a possibility. You know, we could also have the best hand, right? Um, you know, he could have a lot of ace kings, king tens. Uh, ace jack type of hands but the turn card was really interesting because you know the fact that he checked it um over to the turn and we hit that card which gives us basically what uh, a pair 
of queens top pair with a flush draw, the third best flush draw. We could also hit two pair on the river. You know, I just felt like we got a bet here. You know, we want to protect our hand too. We don't want to see like an ace or a king, um, you know, hit on the river and then our hands counterfeit, especially if the club doesn't get there. But what he did here was he raised it. So the raise was a little interesting, right? Um, but the story didn't make much sense. You know, if he had a really strong hand, he probably would have tried to protect it on the flop. There would have been some kind of continuation, but, but there was nothing. So the big problem for him in this hand with me is that I was just not buying what this guy was selling. Uh, you know, there was one hand that I thought may be possible, maybe pocket, what, fives on the turn. That is what I was thinking. Pocket fives was the only hand that would make sense to me with that raise. Otherwise, this is a complete bluff. Now, I had to let the clock run. I mean, clearly when someone's going to put you all in for 500 bucks, it's not as easy as making a call for like 10 or $20. You got to put some thought into this. Uh, you also have to factor in that we do have top pair on this board. Our kicker is terrible. But, you know, his story that he's trying to sell or tell, it just, it didn't make any sense. Pocket fives is a cooler. That's the only hand, the only hand he could have in my mind if he's not bluffing here. So I am going to, you know, let this clock run. Uh, you know, I really slowed it down for you guys. You can see this was not exactly like an easy decision, but at the same time, yeah, uh, a part of me just didn't believe it, you know? So I am going to make the call on him. But I mean, I let this run down pretty far. Okay, so he turned over absolutely nothing. Um, Very... Uh, very interesting bluff on that guy's part. You know, I think it was very poorly executed, though. I mean, the story just didn't make any sense. I mean, that's what it comes down to right there. Um, and yeah, uh, so that really put us up in this session. And after playing for, what, 35 minutes, we're up over a 1000 bucks. So we're already showing over $500 for profit on the day, which is nice. But, you know, making that play, I'm not saying it was it was easy either. It was definitely tough. And then going with this next hand right here, I tried to put in a raise to get this guy off of his hand, but he ended up making the call pretty quick. And when he made the call pretty quick, it told me a couple different things. Um, he's getting stubborn with a couple over cards, possibly. He could also have a pocket pair. Um, the turn card actually paired us, so we did actually have a pair, which was good. Uh, you know, so... I was actually kind of like, all right, we're just going to check this over now. My bluff didn't exactly work, but we could be good with second pair on this board. It is also, you know, highly possible. River card um, was basically a blank. And, uh, you know, I was really just hoping for a check down. He bet pretty quick at it, like 100 bucks. Um, you know, looking back at this hand, I probably should have made this call, but ended up folding it, uh, you know. Um, and I definitely should have made the call here. I don't think this guy had it. I think he was just bluffing it completely, but I ended up folding it. You know, there was a small chance he had, you know, a good hand here, uh, you know, but like I said, the hand is over with, we folded it. It is what it is. So, you know, uh, but I probably should have made that call just looking back at it again. Okay. And that really brings us up to, um, the final hand here. So uh, we had an ace jack suited, and I wouldn't say I played this great, but it was another interesting spot. So you're going to see that in a second here. You know, I definitely I was hoping for almost a three bet on this to kind of build a pot with it. Anytime you got like an ace jack suited, ace queen suited, even an ace 10 suited, I don't mind three bets so we can like build a pot. You can make a lot of money with these hands, you know? But we're going to get one caller and really good flop for a couple of reasons, right? We've got two overs to this board. We've got the nut flush draw to go with um, the overs. So, yeah, I mean, really good flop. Uh, you know, but I'm okay either way here, you know, getting 
sort of like building the pot. I'm not like betting huge here. I'm keeping it small, keeping it friendly. Maybe he's got a pair. Maybe he's got some draws. Hoping to hit an ace or a jack or really the club, right? I mean, or the spade. I mean, we want the spade. That is what we're looking for here on the turn. Now, we are not going to get it, but obviously having another somewhat low card hit the board, staying in this one, not going anywhere. Okay, so five, and uh, we did not hit our spade, but we did on the river. So we hit the nuts. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any straight flush possibilities here. Um, but, you know, I'm really just hoping that he bets. I want, really what I wanted here was I'm hoping he's got a straight. I'm really hoping he's got a flush. Because if he has a flush as well, there's no way he's going to fold here. He's going to come out and bet $75 at it. Um, and, you know, I had a decision to make. Um, does this guy have a strong enough hand to make an all-in call? You know, a part of me thought it's very possible, um, which is why I am going to make the play I made. Because I thought, you know, if he's going to bet out into this, he probably has a, a decently strong hand, okay? And, uh, you know, I went for it. Just thinking about how we can go up a thousand bucks in about thirty five minutes. That's really what I'm thinking. I'm like, all right, let's uh, let's do this, <laughs> right? Okay. Um, I don't think he expected that. Uh, unfortunately, he is going to muck his hand, and it is what it is. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed another session. Like I said, I just played this one yesterday. Um, and as far as, you know, playing poker on your phone, I mean, I'm doing it probably like 80% of the time, honestly. And, uh, yeah, Ignition's great for it. I mean, you can do a lot of different things. The players here, like I always say, you know, um, mid-state games, very beatable, $200 cash games, $500 cash games. You can definitely make some money here, especially late at night and on the weekends. Okay, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you want to learn more about Ignition or get on our Poker newsletter, like I said, we'll have some links below in the description. As always, thanks for watching this, guys, and we'll see you all in the next Poker video.